Hi Bellas, this is Barbie Chan, your beauty minister. March is normally what? The start of the summer season and of course, graduation. Graduation means prom or graduation picture, right? And this is something that we really have to prepare for because once we take the graduation picture, that is forever, okay? But unfortunately, not everybody can afford to hire a makeup artist to have their makeup done on their graduation picture day. So, what can we do? You can still do your own makeup, right? But if you decide to do your own makeup, here are some of the guidelines that we should remember, okay? Number one, on the day of your graduation picture, don't put or apply sunblock. Why? Because sunblock has titanium dioxide and titanium dioxide is the one that adds the shimmer on the sunblock, okay? You don't want your face to be shiny, shimmery splendor on the day of the, fo the, the photo session. Number two, avoid makeup that has shimmery effect, okay? Why? Because the flash of the camera, okay, reflects on the shimmer. So you don't also want to have that very shimmery like okay i came from the outer space look kalat kalat shimmer on your face right so stick to matte please okay and then number three is of course don't use any neon color pink fuchsia green anything neon on your eyes because you want your picture to look timeless okay you don't want people to know that oh you're from the 50s or the 60s or the 80s era you want it timeless so those are the few guidelines okay okay now we start with the base You apply the pre-base on areas where you think you will oil the most and that's normally the T-zone. So I'm applying it here and then on the nose area and then here on the chin area. Okay and then after that let it set for a while. Maybe one, two, three. And the next is the foundation. And now we're applying the liquid foundation, which also has a matte texture. I'm using a sponge. I normally apply the foundation on areas where I have discoloration. Some more here. Since I have some pimple marks. So, after applying the base, Look in the mirror and then see, okay, do I still have some uneven pigmentation, discoloration? So if you still feel that the foundation is not enough, then you can use a concealer to hide the imperfection more. So like for example, me, I feel it's okay, but I'm not yet satisfied because I feel like I still have some under eye discoloration then. I would apply the extra concealer. But if you feel that it's still, that it's already enough, it's okay, then you can stop with that, so at least it still looks natural. Okay, now we go to the eyes. Before we apply the foundation, it is important to put concealer on the eyelid. Why? It takes out the oil, and at the same time, it makes the foundation, uh, the eye shadow last longer. And it, adhere, it makes the eye shadow adhere well to the skin.
With eyeshadow, you always have to start with the lightest color, okay, as a base. So for pre-base eyeshadow, we use concealer and then now we are using a neutral color just to even out the eyelid area. And if you notice, it's still in matte texture, okay? We we don't want any shimmery stuff when it comes to our graduation picture because we want it to look very natural and anything that is shimmery can reflect light, okay? So as much as possible, deviate or avoid shimmery makeup. So for the look, we are sticking to neutral browns. Because the purpose of this makeup is to just enhance your look, not to really change your face. I'm using a dark brown, still matte texture. So if you notice, there's really no shimmer on my eyelid right now. It's all matte. If you don't have a brush like this, what you can do is use a Q-tip, okay, just to clean the edges of the eyes. There. So, and then the next step is the eyeliner. Line it as close as possible to your lashes. And I normally still use this to put on the inside of my upper lash. How do we do it? It's very simple. Okay, so here is how you apply it. Lift your eyelids a little and then see, you see where the lashes grow? Then that's where you apply the black liner. Okay, there. It takes a while before you get comfortable doing it, so practice 
practice, practice. And then for the lower lid, use a white pencil. You need this to brighten up your eye area. And then for the outer lash, whatever you used here on top for the contour, dark brown, then you can also use it on the lower. And then you can also apply a little bit on the lower lash. There. Okay, and then now we go to our blush. And then, you want your blush to look as natural as possible. So when you apply it, make sure that you smile. So you would look like you're just blushing. And then don't forget your nose. Not everybody is blessed with a perfect nose. Sometimes we need help. Not everybody has the money to change it. So makeup will be your best friend on this next set. For your nose, if you don't have a very prominent nose, you can create one. Using a dark brown shadow, like the, what you use on your eyes, Use your ring finger here, get some pigment, mix it, and then from here, palms together so it's supported or else your nose line will be crooked like that. So you have to start like this. And then. Do your nose line. Of course, you don't leave it at that. You have to blend it well. You have to soften the edges. So there, we have our perfect nose. This is definitely cheaper than the normal nose job. Okay? And then after all this application, the cheeks, the nose line, I'm using a finishing powder, oil-free of course. Just to blend the makeup and to blend everything.
hair. And of course, last not the least is the lipstick. Also for the lips, it's also better to use something neutral, okay? Not beige, of course, but as much as possible, use color that is the closest shade to your lips. So, for example, if, you're, if you have pink lips, then at least use pinks, light pinks, medium pink, and avoid shimmery lipstick, okay? So, I'm going to be using a lip liner. Just to contour the lips. There, and then after that, I'll be applying um, a berry type color lip gloss but just on the center of the lips. So there. Very fast very easy to do graduation picture look. So, Bellas, that's it. Very fast, very easy, and very economical. Okay? So no need to be sad if you cannot afford a makeup artist because you are your own makeup artist. Okay? Until the next session, be happy, stay pretty. Bye!